I'm gonna be showing you guys every single working glitch in Cold War Zombies. All these glitches do work still, but some of them might be a bit hard to pull off. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, but let's get right into it. So all you need for this glitch is either Shroud Tier 3, Mule Kick Tier 3, and PHE Slider Tier 4. And before we start this glitch, I also recommend that you guys upgrade all your weapons and get everything you need. So all you want to do for this glitch is make your way to the open lot. Then you want to come over here and you want to do the PHE Slider glitch by running, jumping, and pausing midair. And if you do it correctly, you will be teleported into the wall. As soon as you teleport into the wall, you want to go run where I do and you want to stay in this spot. All the zombies will pile up in front of you for easy kills. Sometimes the zombies will walk off screen, all you want to do for that is to just walk forward and they will come back. To get out of the glitch, all you gotta do is use your either shroud and that's it. This next glitch is on Forsaken and it's a PHE slider glitch. So all you need for this glitch is either shroud tier 3, mule kick tier 3, and PHE slider tier 4. Before you start this glitch, I also recommend getting any perks you want and doing any upgrades since it is a bit hard to get out of the glitch. So to start off this glitch, you want to go over to the storage zone 5 rooftops. Then you want to do the PHE slider glitch by running into this wall. You want to jump, slide, and pause. If you do it at the right moment, you will get teleported inside the wall. Then once you teleport inside here, all you want to do is walk over where I do. You want to go prone and you want to make sure you're not standing too close to the barrier because the zombies will be able to hit you if you're too close. But yeah, from here, all the zombies will pile up in front of you for easy kills. If you want to get out of the glitch, all you're going to do is use your either shroud. So all you're going to need for this glitch is either shroud tier 3. You'll also need meal kick tier 3. And you'll also need PhD slider tier 4. So for this glitch, you want to leave spawn by using the either shroud glitch to glitch through the door. And you want to make sure to upgrade all your guns to pack a punch and you want to get all your perks before you do the glitch. So all you want to do is go over to the mission control room. You want to come over where I do and you want to run and you want to jump and use your PhD slider and you want to pause at the right moment. It's a bit tricky to pull off but if you're having trouble I recommend doing it on the door since that's much easier to do it on. But yeah you just want to keep running and you want to jump and use your PhD slider. As soon as you use it you want to press pause. When you unpause you should be into the glitch. You can pick up most of the drops in this glitch, but you won't really be able to pick up any of the power-ups because you will be too far away from them. I'm going to be showing you guys an easy PHD slider glitch. So all you'll need for this glitch is either shroud tier 3, meal kick tier 3, and PHD slider tier 4. This glitch will be on die machine. So you want to play the game like you normally would, but when you're in the pack-a-punch sequence, you want to go over to the wonder fizz machine and you want to grab meal kick and PHD slider. Also make sure to do the coffin density strike and upgrade your weapons. So for the glitch, you want to make your way to the underground portion of the weapons lab. Then you want to come where I do and you want to make sure instead of running up and doing the glitch, you just want to jump, slide, and you want to pause and unpause. Make sure you don't do any run up because if you do a run up, it won't work. So when you're in this glitch, if you go prone, you can get hit. So I recommend only going prone at the end of the round so you can pick up all the loot and you can pick up all the power-ups. I also recommend having a splash weapon for this glitch, such as the RPG or the die shockwave or even the ray gun, as it makes it much easier to kill the zombies. This is the best Cold War Zombies glitch out right now. So all you need for this glitch is Mule Kick Tier 3 and PHC Slider Tier 4. So before you get into this glitch, I recommend pack-a-punching all your weapons, getting all the perks you want because it is a bit hard to get out of the glitch. So basically to get into this glitch, you want to go down to the sewer access portion of the map, you want to go exactly where I do, and you want to perform the PHE slider glitch by jumping and using the slide button and pausing at the exact same moment. So from there, you just want to follow exactly where I go, you want to make your way over to this little area and you want to go to the very bottom part of this. Once you get to this part, you want to move away at once again, so the zombies all will be begin to pile up over there. From here, it's really easy headshots to get your camos. If you want to pick up any power-ups or drops, you just want to go back to the spot, go prone, and you can pick up almost everything. Another way to get out from this spot is you want to go back to the spot where you first entered the glitch. There will be a zip line over there, you just want to use that and you will teleport out of the glitch. Here's an easy unlimited XP glitch. So to start off this glitch, you need either shroud tier 3, mule kick tier 3, and PHC slider tier 4. So you want to make sure to grab Mule Kick and PHG Slider during the pack punch sequence. By the way, this glitch is on Die Machine and to start off this glitch, you want to go over to the living room and you want to do the PHG Slider glitch by running and jumping into this wall, then using PHG Slider and pausing at the exact same moment. You literally just want to run, jump, slide midair and pause. If you do it correctly and you do the, get the timing right, you will get teleported into the wall. Now for this next part, I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but basically you want to go prone and you want to follow exactly where I go. It's crucial that you go over here. But once you get over to this portion of the map, you want to come over where I do, then, then you want to come over to this exact same spot I'm in. 
and you just want to jump once and all the zombies will co come over to this spot and from here you can just keep killing them without getting hit at all this is easily the best cold war zombies xp glitch i already know so all you need for this glitch is easy shout tier 3 mule kick tier 3 and phd slider tier 4 so you want to make sure to grab all your perks in the pack punch sequence and i also recommend that you do the coffin dance easter egg to get free jug and a chance at wonder weapons and before we start this glitch i also recommend that you guys upgrade all your weapons and get everything you need so to start this glitch you want to make your way over to the medical bay you want to come and jump on this box then you want to do a a slight sprint and jump then you want to slide midair and you want to pause once you unpause you should be teleported inside the wall you don't necessarily need to jump on the box but it does make this a bit easier once you get in the wall you just want to walk up a bit forward so yeah that's a glitch you can't really get hit by anything other than the dog's gas when they you when you kill them so you want to make sure you kill them from far away you can grab all the power-ups and drops you want in here to get out of this glitch it's really easy you just want to hit your either shot and that's it this next glitch is an afk pilot glitch First you want to do the glitch to skip the first door by knife lunging the zombie like I do. Then you want to go and enter the teleporter and turn on the power in all three locations. Here are the locations. The first one to activate is in the mission control room. The second one to activate is in the data center. The third one you have to activate is in the military command ether reactor. You should have done all this by round 5 and once you do that you want to go back inside the teleporter and you want to wait around 30 seconds to 1 minute for the zombies to start spawning in. As you can see on my screen when the zombies do spawn in they will go go afk in that one spot but what you want to do is kill them then you want to come to the spot where i am and you want to go exactly there now you're going to see when the zombies do spawn in they all will walk right past you except there will be a zombie every now and then that will attack you but a lot of times they'll run away if you don't kill them this glitch is actually insane because when you do stay here all the zombies will just run right past you and you can kill them with whenever you want so that's why i recommend having an ar or an smg not a close range gun because the zombies will go back and forth pretty far away from you this glitch affects all types of zombies including the manglers and the mimics and it'll work in the later rounds too which makes it extremely effective. Another way you can do this glitch is by charging up your either shroud then you want to come where I do use it then you want to do exactly what I do but you want to go over here this time and then you can kill all the zombies this way and you'll have the same effect. This next glitch is a pilot glitch. But yeah guys those are all the glitches i have for you guys today if you have any questions let me know in the comments down below also if you do need any help drop your activision id in the comments down below either i can help you or someone else can help you out but yeah guys if there any of these are patched let me know in the comments down below too but yeah guys thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe see you guys later peace out